Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Paris here and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use adjustment layers and why they're so important when it comes to editing your videos with Final Cut Pro 10. Now, first off, we have to understand what an adjustment layer is. I'm actually going to leave in the description below a place for you to actually download an adjustment layer because it's a plugin that does not come pre-installed with Final Cut Pro. So it's very important that you understand that first and foremost. Now, once you download this and you put this into your titles tab, I have this under my titles tab and I'll share with you how to do that here in a moment. Once you have that there though, you can go ahead and search and I'm gonna type in ADJ and you can see how I have these two adjustment layers. Now. How do I actually use an adjustment layer? What you wanna do is grab and drag it down and you'll see now here that I have this adjustment layer. And now here's what an adjustment layer is, guys. What I can do is clicking on this adjustment layer, I now can edit using the color board, I can add effects, I can add uh, so many different things to my adjustment layer. And then from here, I can click and drag this throughout my entire timeline. So you can see this adjustment layer that I have here, I'll undo this for you, I've actually added some color correction to my video. Now, the color correction is not too intense, but you can see here, I've dropped the shadows down a little bit, I've bumped up the midtones and highlights, and it's just a great way to get the same color board across all of my clips here without having to copy and paste it individually. Look at how many we got here in our vlog, guys. Crazy, right? So you could do that with an adjustment layer. Also, if you have an effect, right? So if I wanted to, let me share with you exactly what the color grading looks like. So here, if I click it on, Okay, there's a slight change there. It's a little bit warmer. Okay, if I go up a little bit, now you can really see it's super saturated. I almost look orange and red, right? So if I click here, now it's gone and now it's on. Now let me show you here. Look at how orange it looks there. I'll turn the sound off. Fantastic. Look how orange I look now, right? And I can continue to keep moving this um, and adjusting the entire... Uh, color board here and it's affecting everything underneath this adjustment layer hopefully that makes sense and I just wanted to share with you that demonstration so uh, this is obviously way too saturated but just wanted to share that with you okay so what's really neat now is with my top adjustment layer here what I can do is add an effect using my effects tab here. Just go ahead and click on the two little boxes. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this 50s TV. Now I'm gonna throw it right on top of this adjustment layer. I'm gonna let go. You can see instantly that from here to here is now 50s TV and then it goes right back to the regular color grading. So it's really neat. I can now drag my adjustment layer over the top here. Now this is 50s TV, okay? And it's really, a convenient way to add effects without having to mess with other color grades or other you know effects it's just a really neat thing that you can do and it saves you a ton of time so i think that you understand the basic reasons why we would use an adjustment layer and then from here it's like you know you can use the different effects you could try different color boards you could do multiple color boards you could do so many things with this so it's up to you now to go ahead and play around with some of these things. And I look forward to teaching you more in our next video tutorials. Stay tuned.